Copenhagen. I just got to my hostel a couple minutes ago, uh, like 20 minutes ago, and I quickly changed. I have been wanting to come here for so long. I, me and my mom, we did like, we had like a trip and we had a layover here a couple years ago and we drove around the town. We had like, it was like a six hour layover and we drove around the town and like ever since then, I kind of have fallen in love with here and I wanted to come back so bad. So I finally made the plans and I came here for the weekend. So I'm here. I'm so excited to explore. Yeah, but I'm in my hostel and I have a map and I am so ready to just take in this city because I have been thinking about coming back here for literally years. Let's do a fit check. <laughs> Tried to play into that Copenhagen style. You know, the neutrals trying to trying to emulate all the fashion girlies here. So that's the fit. Now let's go. <laughs> I spent the day walking and I'm finally sitting down in a park, the Botanical Garden here in Copenhagen. And Copenhagen is everything I could have dreamed of and more. It is so awesome. It's just beautiful here and the energy is so good. Literally everyone is beautiful and also so incredibly well dressed. And I literally am just taking inspo everywhere every second because everyone just looks so good and ugh, i'm obsessed i'm obsessed I, I discovered so many new brands within the past like couple hours <laughs> and i've been like taking photos i'm like okay i need to go back and look at these like they're so good it's so good this has been like my second solo trip i did brussels um two weeks ago and now i'm here and it just feels so good I love solo travel. Like I love just walking by myself, doing my own, doing my own thing, like taking things at my own pace. Like this morning I sat down um, with a map I grabbed from the airport and I just sat down for like half an hour in complete silence eating breakfast, just kind of making little notes of what I wanted to see and like the order that I wanted to go and the neighborhoods I wanted to walk through and just kind of took my time and then I went and did it, and I walked when I, I stopped when I wanted to stop. I walked where I wanted to, and uh, and I enjoy this so much, so much. And I feel like it's such like an important thing to be able to enjoy spending time by yourself and alone. And I'm having the most fun time <laughs> just by myself. So. I think I've accomplished that. It's important because you're not always gonna have someone to do things with and you can't just let yourself be held back by that because then if you do, you're not gonna get to experience as many things as you could have if you just kind of 
took the chance. The only downside is no, no one to take my photos. <laughs> I've been doing my little self timers <laughs> when I can. I doing the whole like, um, hi, sorry, hi, can you take a photo of me, please? Oh my god, yeah, and I'll take a photo of you. So, but strangers are nice and they've, they've helped out and I've helped them, so that's good at least. <laughs> but, so I think I'm gonna go get some food. There's this burger place I've heard a lot about that looks really good and it's super close to my hostel. So I might go check out there. And I think I might stop by at my hostel after to put on another sweater or something because I'm just wearing like a shirt um, and like my blazer on top and it's starting to get a bit chilly. But yeah, that's the plan for tonight by myself. Maybe I'll meet some people at the hostel, but if I don't, that's cool too. But yeah. I'm on my way to get some breakfast. Oh my god, this is like the first time I've talked today. Ugh. On my way to get some breakfast. Um, I had a really fun time last night. I hung out with some people from my hostel and we just hung out and talked and it was really fun. Um, loud truck passing. Okay, we're good now. Um, yeah, so that was fun last night. And then this morning, I just woke up and I got dressed. And now I'm heading to a breakfast place I found online from TikTok. Because that's where <laughs> I find most of my inspo for things these days. But yeah, so I'm walking there right now. But I keep stopping because there's just so much cool fashion. And like so many cool stores that I've never heard of. So I keep stopping to look at them. So my walk is taking like twice as long. But I'm getting some good sights out of it. Example 1000. I just, oh my god, I can't speak with these on. I feel obnoxious. So I just got out from the design museum here in Copenhagen and it was incredible. It was so cool. I'm finding that I'm really into like the futuristic sort of like dystopian type art of like, 
I don't know, just like playing with like lights and and to like specific topics that are kind of dark. I don't know, but there was like this exhibit about kind of like the dystopian idea of of products that might be available to the population in the future. And it was like an art ex exhibit. And there was like this one thing where it's like, oh, like pills that like replace food or it's like Uber Eats, but the amount that you pay is based on how fast the person can bring your food for you and how fast they can bring your food for you is based on like how old they are. Playing with the concept of, of you know, in like society nowadays and capitalism, it's becoming increasingly hard to retire and that some people may never retire and that they'll have to kind of work until they're super old and even, you know, even if they're slow, they still have to work. So that was really cool. That was very interesting and kind of not what I expected, but you know, me on these trips, I'm going in with zero expectations. So I would definitely recommend. It was very cool and all the exhibits were very different from each other, but all very interesting. Um, and there's like a garden in the middle that's very pretty, and that's where I am right now, just hanging out, walking around. And I don't know what I'm going to do next, but we'll see. I want to live here. <laughs> this place, I am losing my mind at how nice everything is. I'm losing my mind. Everyone is so pretty and the ambiance, oh, the ambiance. How dare they? Respectfully, how dare they? I, it's literally exactly what I expected and then some because when I came with my mom a couple years ago I only really saw like the port and like the edges of like the city that was it but there's so much more and it is all so lovely <laughs> it is gorgeous like I literally went home the first night and I started looking up like master's degrees in Copenhagen in English unfortunately they don't really exist but maybe after school coming for you. So I'm just sitting here by the water right now and there's like a restaurant that's playing some like jazz and they're just kind of cleaning up for the night before, prepping for the day or whatever and it's just, I'm just soaking it in. It is very lovely. One thing I've learned from going to hostels is that I am not the problem. <laughs> I hate to like toot my own horn, but I am not the problem when it comes to bad conversations in person because I am learning very quickly that I can hold a conversation for a long period of time. It can be great. And I always thought I was like a, I thought I was me and then, like I was the problem and I was just a poor conversationalist, but no, I am revoking that burden for within from myself because I don't think I'm the problem sorry I don't think I'm the problem if I ever have a bad conversation with you mm, I'm just kidding yeah it's just been so cool to speak to people that I wouldn't usually speak to from different countries that I had never met anyone from that country before and just I don't know, just finding things in common with everyone from all over the place, all different ages, and just... 
creating a friendship. It's great. I love it. I'm, I'm proud of myself for kind of pushing the limits of my, my comfort when it comes to social situations and just going for it because I never regret it after. I never regret it. Like in the moment, sometimes I still hesitate to like approach someone or say hi or whatever. But afterwards, like once we have a conversation going, if the other person starts it or, or whatever, I'm usually so glad that, you know, I continued the conversation and that I did that thing or went on that excursion with that person or whatever. It's, it's good. No regrets. No regrets. Um, but yeah, I feel like my, my sweater is very fitting to the weather here. It's very comfy. I'm wearing a t-shirt under. It's actually honestly been a bit warmer than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be a little cooler here, but like I'm pretty comfortable. Like, I could take this off and it would be a little cool, but I would still be fine. But I feel very cozy and cute and it's the morning, so it's a little cooler. So I'm putting it on and I have this hat that is from my ex, but it was something that I wanted and he bought it for me. So who am I to stop wearing it? Why would I stop wearing it if I wanted it and I like it? So that's my hat. Sweaters from Zara. And then I'm wearing my Aritzia dress pants that I kind of forgot that I brought with me, but I'm glad that I'm wearing them. I felt like it's a good place. They're very comfy, actually. I kind of stopped, I didn't wear them as often because I thought they weren't comfortable, but now that I'm wearing them, I'm like, wait, these are great. Why don't I wear these more often? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to this one area. I've kind of been avoiding it because I've been a little nervous, but I'm like, I'm just gonna do it. It's called Freetown Christiania. Christiania? I don't know. I'm so bad at pronouncing names. Ugh. So I'll write it somewhere. And it's basically basically an area of Copenhagen that's kind of regulated and ruled within itself and it's very much guided by like hippie mentality and hippie like lifestyle. Communal and there's a lot of like recreational <laughs> drugs and stuff that go on there, but it's kind of very whimsical, I think, um, and a lot of cool architecture and stuff because it's very much self-contained and they have like their own rules and their own sort of systems for building and um, and like the roads and their infrastructure and everything. So I kind of want to check it out. I've heard a lot, like everyone who's gone has said you need to go. Um, but one thing is you're not supposed to really like record while being there. So I don't think I'll do that, um, obviously, because I don't want to get in trouble. Um, but I'm gonna go there and then there's a cafe I think I'm gonna have some breakfast at that I kind of checked out and scoped out in that area because apparently there's a lot of cute cafes and stuff so I think I should go so that's I'm gonna do it but I just kind of wanted to sit down for a sec and just decompress and reflect on my time here and how wonderful it's been and how thankful and privileged I am that I've, be, uh, I've been able to do these little trips and, and go to these places that I've dreamed about going and and experience it and, and have a good time and maybe meet the people that I have and just I've just had nothing but positive experiences throughout this whole time and I'm so grateful for that and knock on wood but yeah it's just I feel so happy, so happy. Ugh, like I just walk around and it's like, I just feel joy right here. So, here's to that continuing. But it's a great time and I'm so happy to be here and so thankful. Pastry, and all like 
in different places and pictures of it and I've been dying to try it and then today when I actually was like okay I'm gonna get it today every single cafe that I went to I couldn't find it and I thought it was like a like exclusively like Danish thing because I've never seen it anywhere else but I finally found it at this one cafe and it says that it's French so I don't know about that one but I thought I would try it. This is her. Isn't it so cute? It's like the cutest little thing. I don't, I'm very curious by it. So I'm gonna try. I don't even know how to eat this. Moment of truth. Mmm. Oh, it's good. It has a very like chewy outside like caramelized almost and then the inside is super super spongy like and it's so squishy it's so cute and it's so good <laughs> i like it 